Hello, Mary me. So, uh, like I said in one of my videos yesterday, I want to do some more book reviews. So I thought I might as well get off my ass and start doing them. So the book I want to review is um, this one. Levelin's Complete Formulae of Magical Oils. Over two and um, over two um, uh, one thousand two hundred recipes potions and tinctures for everyday use by Celeste Rain uh, Heldstab or however her name is to be pronounced and this is the book now what is this? it's exactly what it says on the tin it's a book about how to use various forms of oils uh, especially then essential oils in magic. Some of these recipes are for oils that have a specific function in themselves, so the oil itself becomes the spell. Or if you, uh, and, and there's quite a few of them here which are straight up using the properties of the oil, so if you do not necessarily believe in magic, you can still use this book for those oils. And there's also how to use these oils uh, to enhance a ritual or a potion or other kinds of work with magic. So, um, yes. Now, this book took forever to come out. I mean, it was uh, February. I think it was February it was supposed to be uh, published. And I only got it last month because. Uh, Levelen had a real problem getting it um, printed. I'm just looking for index here so I can show you what's in it. Yes, here we are. Uh, the book uh, pages are in some sort of, um, I don't know, the paper is very, very smooth. So that is one negative thing I will say about it. It's sort of um, difficult to flip through. And if it's a book that you read from cover to cover, that isn't a problem because you always manage to flip the page. But when it's a book like this, which you really you just want to get to the index, find the oil or tincture that you are going to use, and check that recipe because this is basically a recipe book, then that can be a little bit of an annoyance. So yes, this book is uh, neatly put into a uh, uh, part, uh, so yes, I'm not going to go into detail on all of this, I'm just going to read the various sections because they are pretty self-explanatory. We have part 1, Introduction to Oils, pretty and self-explanatory which has introduction and measuring mojo. And then we have uh, magical formulations uh, with um, a sub-chapter of elementals, which is basically elemental oils, and how to use that in magic, and what oils um, respond with what element, and so on. And then we have uh, love, attraction, and sex. So basically, uh, part two, which are magical formulations, is basically how to use oils in magic. I don't think I need to explain love, attraction, and sex. And then we have emotional and physical healing, also pretty self-explanatory. We have chakras, uh, psychic and spiritual, home, which I really like because, like I said, I really. Yeah, I'm really into practical magic, using magic in your everyday life, instead of just reserving it for special occasions and so on, using it. It's a gift, use it. Money, job and financial, luck and legal, gambling, gods and goddesses, saints and angels, hexing, banishing and uncrossing. The Mother Moon, a whole chapter on moon oils. 
sabbats and rituals. It's basically what oils can be used to enhance your various religious ceremonies. But oils corresponds to what the um, sabbats and esbats and so on. And planetary oil, oils and uh, zodiac oils, which again is pretty self-explanatory. How to use oils to correspond with various uh, various parts of the zodiac and so on. And then we have part three, all about oils. Magical properties of carrier oils for using spells. Basically, very often when you use an essential oil, actually, I would say 90% of the times it's just a few oils that are practical to use on your own, at least if you're going to use it on your body. It's something different if you're going to have it in an oil burner or something like that. But if you're going to use it on your body, you're going to need a carrier oil. Because the essential oils are so potent, you'll get rashes. So basically, but then if you're going to use it in magic, then these carrier oils do have uh, properties. And I think it's very good that the book mentions this and takes that into consideration. Because if your carrier oil has completely different energies than the oil you're using for your magic, then you might not get the results you are after. Popular oils, and you have a section of magical intent. That's not ne really necessary here, because this isn't really a beginner's book on magic. It's uh, about one specific tool used in magic, so probably if you're picking this book up, go ahead and know those basics, but it doesn't hurt to have it in there. A herbal and correspondence chart, exactly what it sounds like, quite useful. A bibliography and an index. And yes, that index gets very, 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 very important because what did it say on the cover? 1,200 recipes. Yes. So, let me take some examples of the recipes you'll find in here. Uh, we have... Uh, we have some goddess oils, we have Artemis oil, which are one part... Uh, uh, one fourth lemon oil, one fourth rose, one fourth violet oil, one fourth narcissus oil, one fourth ylang ylang. No, excuse me, one eighth on the uh, three lower ones. We have dawn oil, dark huntress oil, demeter oil. Let's have another section. Um, here's some. Um, Astrology oils, you have Taurus oil, Gemini oil, and here we have some recipes for aging skin and wrinkles, where you can use oils to make point, uh, poultices and creams, uh, all sorts of recipes, both for the oils basically alone, alone using, just making anointing oils or massage oils, it's also how to use them in creams potions, anything really. Basically this is a pretty big book. Let's see how big it actually is. Um, and there's some advertisements in the back. Get the get the get. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's 405 pages including the index. So yeah, it's a pretty big book. And it would have about anything you need to use oils, essential oils and other kinds, for magic. Now, this isn't a book about aromatherapy so much. There are some information on aromatherapy in here, but there are other books I would recommend if you're going for the straight-up aromatherapy approach. This is for these oils for magic. Of course, the fields do overlap, so if you are into aromatherapy, and you want a more esoteric take on it, then this book might be for you. But basically, if you're going to learn aromatherapy, this might not be the first book you're looking for. However, if you are interested in using oils for magic, then this is definitely something for you. And I've been using oils for magic almost from the start, because my mother is allergic to incense. 
So I had to use oil burners instead of incense and I still usually do that. So on my altar I have an oil burner uh, instead of an um, incense holder. Also because I, um, unless you buy really really good quality incense, I think that um, uh, yeah, um, uh, essential oils um, smell much nicer as they burn and they will have the same effect because the smoke and the steam rising up will have the same effect of bringing your wishes and the spell to the gods as incense as well. So yeah, I've always been interested in this. Now, would I recommend this book? Yeah, absolutely. It's a good book. It, uh, for its purposes, this is really good. It's a very good reference book. It can be used both to learn more about how to use these oils magic and there's tons of recipes here. I really recommend anyone interested in the magical use of essential oils and other kinds of oils as well as making potions and the like to have this on your shelf as a reference. So I would give this book 8 out of 10. My only real complaint like I said is the strange feel of the pages which are slippery and difficult to handle. Other than that this book is really really good. And that is my review of Levelum's Complete Formulae of Magical Oils by Celeste Rain Hellstaff. Oh yeah, that's the front of the book, side of the book, and back of the book. I hope you have enjoyed this review. Have a great day and blessed be.